gossip. <laughs> What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to The 423. Rapper Vic Mensa was a guest on Mike Tyson's podcast this week, Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson, and in the episode, he tells a story about the time he was sexually assaulted by Tiffany Haddish. He doesn't seem too distraught by the encounter, but he does explicitly say sexual assault when describing the incident and goes on to tell a story about meeting the comedian at a club in New York. Here's what Vic had to say. Should I tell him about when Tiffany Haddish sexually assaulted me? No, uh, that's not. That don't count, man. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> that don't count. Okay, look, look, look. It's all good. Here's what, here's what happened. It, okay. I thought it was really funny. I was in a, I was in a club. I was in a club in New York, and um, and I'm smoking a cigarette. You know what I mean? And she was like, she was like, yeah, you know, I, I never met her before. She was like you way too sexy to smoke cigarettes or something like that. I'm like, word, you know, keep smoking my thing. Then she like grabbed for it and I was like, I mean, hello. <laughs> Do you I mean? think about fucking her right there? <laughs> she was bad. I'm not going to lie to you. She yeah. was bad. She was bad. She she definitely was sexier in real per in, in right. person than I would have thought. I'm smoking my cigarette. She tried to take it from me. Ooh. Then I end up talking to her. She was like telling me about how she wanted to do a rap album and she wanted me to write it for her. And then... I'm like, cool. I'm like, that would actually be fun. Then she rapped one of the songs to me from her rap album, and it was something about, something about, like, something about some dick. I don't really remember exactly <laughs> what, what the words was, but as a parting, as a parting, like, gesture, she just, like, reached down and, like, grabbed my nuts. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> whoa. <grabbed my> nuts. <laughs> and I was like, I turned around. I thought it was, man, I was turned around to my homegirl. I was like, I think Tiffany Haddish just sexually assaulted me. Damn. But G. I did think it was funny. And also, you know, probably would have smashed, but it definitely still counts. Damn. Fuck. Crazy. Like snitched. So as you can see, he keeps trying to brush off the whole thing by reiterating that he thought it was funny. But if you ask me, he definitely looks kind of bothered and uneasy over it. He also says that he probably would have smashed and she looked a lot better in person. So Vic is really trying to justify her grabbing his balls by basically saying it's not as bad because he thinks she's attractive. I think a lot of times men feel kind of emasculated when they try to talk about these types of scenarios, especially surrounded by other men, which I think is what's happening here. I mean, Mike Tyson wasn't going to ask any poignant questions about the incident, so it's honestly just hard to tell whether or not this is something Vic was trying to complain or brag about. But I am confused on what he was trying to accomplish in bringing this up. Not saying that he shouldn't have, but he's trying to play both sides of the fence here. Directly after telling the story, he goes into saying that you have to be extra careful nowadays about everything, which just shows that he knows how a story like this is going to come across. And whether or not he says he thought it was funny, he's still blatantly saying that he was sexually assaulted by this woman, which in today's climate should not be taken lightly. We've also heard similar stories about Tiffany before, going too far with some of her famous friends. Issa Rae told a story on Hot Ones about the first time she met Sharonis Jackson, who plays Joe on Insecure, saying that Tiffany was berating him and continually saying that he looks like he likes to get slapped. She meets one of our cast members, comes into the door, does a beeline, and is like, <laughs> hey, I'm Tiffany. Has a champagne glass in her hand, and is like, hey, I'm Tiffany. And demonstrates on a champagne glass her skills. And so he's like, oh, okay, that's, that's what's up. And so then throughout the night, she was drinking more, and she sat next to him and got in his face and was just like, you look like a nigga that likes to get slapped. I'ma slap you. He was like, well, actually, I don't. I don't like to get slapped. And she was like, yes, you do. I'ma slap you right now. You a cup. And just continued to berate him. And once again, all of her peers are telling these stories as if they're jokes. But to me, it just shows a pattern that one day is going to bite her in the ass. Of course, everyone should be allowed to have fun and flirt. And I know there's going to be comments from people saying that everyone is too sensitive nowadays. 
But if this was a male comedian or any type of celebrity, people just wouldn't be okay with this. From these stories, it seems like Tiffany has gotten lucky in the people that she's interacting with and her friends are laughing it off and covering for her. But if something happens in the future with a not so willing participant, having these stories on the record is just not going to be a good look. Tiffany has actually spoken on these types of situations in the past, saying that the things she's gone through have made her more aggressive as a defense mechanism. In an interview with Glamour from September of 2018, she says that she was raped by a police cadet when she was 17 and goes on to say, I notice that men are afraid of women that are aggressive, so to protect myself, I become semi-aggressive. You hear about Tiffany always hitting on somebody, but that's to keep them from hitting on me. While that does explain her very outwardly flirtatious and aggressive vibes in interviews and from all these stories, I don't think it's okay to use that as a blanket excuse. Obviously, if a man was acting some type of way toward her, there's nothing wrong with retaliating or just putting a wall up from the jump, but grabbing someone's dick without their permission and calling it a way of protecting yourself just is not the way to go. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Tiffany Haddish is in the wrong here? And even if Vic Mensa claims to think the encounter was funny, does that make it okay? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to the 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.